is we have some tablets that we'll uh, look at and analyze. If we looked it up on our website, we would it would show as oxycontin or uh, the chemical name is oxycodone. Uh, but when we test these out, we're finding that these contain fentanyl. Normally, these tablets are blue in color. These are kind of a blue-green, so right off the bat, we uh, kind of know by experience that these are uh, going to be counterfeit. We're going to get a count on these. We have a triangular counting tray that they use in, in pharmacies, and it will help us get a count. This one's easy. We have nine. We also need to get a weight on it. We're going to take our tablets. We're going to remove this weigh boat. Put the tablets there, and then we're gonna weigh it. For this tablet, we generally know the concentration we need for our instrument, so uh, we'll take half of this tablet. We'll leave the other half for secondary analysis if needed. It'll just cut right in half there. Sometimes we get little fragments like that. Put this into our, into our test tube. So we're gonna add some sodium hydroxide. We will do our best to get these into solution. So we're gonna add our solvent to it. We will take our sample without all of the blue-green chunks in it and pipette it into our second. And then we will take those, we will cap those and put them onto our GCMS and see what we get. We use a gas chromatograph mass spectrometer for our analysis, and it's abbreviated to GCMS. It's a two-part instrument with the GC portion, the gas chromatograph portion, being where it separates compounds based on their polarity and their interaction with the column. And so it pushes it through a column and it separates them based on the size polarity. And then it goes into the mass spec where it's bombarded with electrons and it's fragmented into little pieces. And these are um, called the total ion chromatograph when they're graphed. And this is what we can use to identify it.